This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. You guessed it, we're back. We're here on Think Tech Global, Think Tech Asia with Russell Yu. Russell, Russell, you came back from China. Did you have something, did it have something to do with Donald Trump or what? Why are you back? Well, Donald Trump arrived. At, I just left the night before Donald Trump arrived. So I, I decided that I got to be back in Hawaii. I prefer <laughs> back in Hawaii today. You'll be here again soon. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... Um, Last time we had a really fabulous show with you, and that was by Skype. You had this footage of, of life on the street in Beijing with the subways, transportation. It was, it was, it was great. It was a great show. And, um, you know, it, it opened my mind to the fact that uh, China is a real place, real people happening. It's progressive. It's, you know, it's, it's making traction in every way. Uh, we, we, get, we hear the diplomatic statements and insults and what have you. Um, and it distracts us from the reality. The reality is China is really booming, and you're a great witness to that. So today, I want to continue that discussion with you, Russell. Uh, I want to talk about um, Singles Day, which you told me about a little bit, um, and what it means. And it's, it's November 11th, which is coming up actually, hmm, only in, when is November? We just passed it. We just passed it, okay. A few days ago. It was Saturday. Yes, that's it was right. Saturday. And uh, what, in, what in the world is 11-11? Uh, what is Singles Day? And what does it mean to China? Well, Jay, you know, 11-11 it, it, it's it's, 11, 11 is a special day in China because it's the anti-Valentine's Day. Anti-Valentine's. Why? It's because <laughs> back in the 90s. Who needs love anyway? <laughs> well, love yourself. That's what it's okay, all about. 11-11. So it came up as an idea when the university students in Nanjing, I believe it was Nanjing, uh, who were lonely, and they organized the event, 11-11 Singles Day. What that was is they were bemoaning that they didn't have any significant relationships, and they were lonely, so they said, well, we're going to do something special. That day is we go out and we go and spend money for ourselves. We buy something for ourselves <laughs> to make us feel better. When the tough get going, the, something, the, the going, go shopping. <laughs> and, and Yes, and, and, and Jack Ma of Alibaba, when he founded uh, the company in 1999 with 17 other individuals, they took up on that message, that, that theme, 1111. Uh, and so th well, now... This has existed that long then. Huh? That long. And so 1111 um, so has been started off as in, only in China. But today, it's not only China. We're talking many countries are in Southeast Asia and Asia are actually tied in, and you can buy things. Um, 11, 11. So is it a day for sales? Is that what it is? Can well, you get bargains? Well, it, it's, it's reinventing the platform of how retail has been conducted using the internet, e-commerce, and using the smartphone. All these things um, have made it accessible to millions of people in Asia, not only China, but Asia. And it doesn't matter where you are, because as long as you have that platform, you get onto your smartphone, you get on the internet, you can so make So you yours. buy stuff. And you buy stuff, and, and it's a 24-hour period. And the thing about Singles Day, is that it has smashed all records. If you combine uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday in the US, <laughs> you combine both of them, Singles Day smashes all records. Billions and billions of retail. This year, in a 24 hour period, $25.4 billion. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> so so it, it's phenomenal. It's, it's, it's changing not only consumer behavior, but it's changing merchant behavior. And it's, it's big because it's not only in China now, and you know, uh, Alibaba has spread its wings outside of China, Russia, Southeast Asia. So people ordering, well, and, and right? it's incredible. Statistics are incredible. 15 million products are offered for sale. And there's about 140,000 brands on sale during that period. And, and it's more than just domestic because uh, it's global because of the 140,000 brands, 60,000 are actually global brands like Nike and other brands from Germany, from England. Um, it's, it's a global, global thing now, so it's, it's quite a feat. Hmm. Well, so let's examine, you know, first the psychology of it. I mean, it's brilliant. Jack Ma's brilliant. Whatever he does is brilliant. Look what he's done. He's not only, you know, caught up to the U.S. and to Amazon, he's, he's exceeded them. And, and daily he's exceeding them more. In, in terms of the products offered for sale, the way he sells them, where he sells them, his market is is, is global now. 
I mean, he will, he will exceed Amazon, and Amazon doing well too. And the whole world is in the 21st century is about retail online, isn't it? So, you know, what, I guess what, what I come out with is uh, what makes people do this? Why do you wake up on 11-11 one morning, last Saturday, for example, and say, oh, I think I'll buy something for myself? I mean, what is it? Jack Ma is telling the Chinese, all well, 1.4 billion of them, um, that they, they have a pass, that, they, that he's, he's emancipating them on 11-11. Mm -hmm. Go buy yourself, treat yourself nice. Uh, and they take that message. Isn't that the most interesting psychology? Well, it's interesting because, it, you know, Jack Ma, his words, what is it about Singles Day that makes it successful? And he says, it's not about making money for him, Alibaba. It's no, about, no, for this thing. <laughs> love and happiness. Okay. Love and happiness. And think about it, what's happening in China when it started in China. More males that can't find relationships. And there are many females now who are very successful in their 30s, can't find relationships. So they is start that because they're, Is that themselves. because of a cultural barrier or something? What is that? That's another whole new issue for us to discuss. How come they can't find a relationship? Well, because of the demographics now, because people are into... Um, their professions, their jobs, their they're working marriage, hard. They're working hard, and there's a culture pressure where they're expected to marry in their in their early 20s, have a child. The full circle, like the Ohana concept. Mm. Ohana really comes from the Asian concept, and it comes from the Chinese concept of the circle. That's why the circle in the Chinese world culture it means full happiness, the full circle of life. You know, birth, grandparents. There's a harmony about the circle. The harmony about the circle. Yeah. The whole family stays together. Okay, so along this cycle, things are delayed. If you don't get married, no kids. And you get pressure from the parents and grandparents. So what do the kids do now? They're in their, they have money, they're in their early 30s or late 20s. They go out and say, I'm gonna buy something special for myself. I'm gonna buy something expensive for myself. And they wait for the singles day. And but, but why wait? Big discounts. Ah, big discounts. Big discounts. Big discounts. Big this. And, and you know, there's a cultural thing. The difference between Western culture and Asian culture, and the Chinese especially, shopping to Westerners for many times, it's a chore. You go out to buy things. But for the Chinese, it's a sport. It's fun and entertainment. <laughs> so that's why Singles Day, they kick it off with this gala, gala celebration. They had LeBron James, I believe. You were there. Year. You were there. I wish I was there. I wish oh, I had my You're ready to come back. Jack okay. Ma, you hear me? I want to get invited. I want to do a show for Think Tank. Uh, Jack Ma, I hope you're listening year. to Russell. You. Uh, we'll he, do he that. We'll do that next you. year. Okay. And and it's fantastic. So I heard that this year the kickoff celebration. They had musicians, uh, Pharrell Williams. They had a uh, basketball star, LeBron James. They had Maria Shaparova. Uh, they also Jack Ma. He is a kung fu martial arts. Aficionado. So he had unveiled a short film starring himself, <laughs> <laughs> along with uh, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen was a kung fu master uh, who's breaking into Hollywood now. Did they pay for this movie? It, 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 they paid for it. And Thailand, I've seen Tony Ja, the martial artist. So he was in the short film. But it's fantastic. It's entertainment. It's sport. So um, it's a different culture. But again, it's made retailing exciting. It's a festive thing. It's, it sounds it's very festive. festive. It's very festive. You know, and also China doesn't have Christmas like we do here. So this is a Chinese so, kind of Christmas. Yes. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how Hawaii we should capitalize on Singles Day. Oh, yeah. But first, let's talk about how you spend your Singles Day. Now, the Jack Ma world is really online. It's not brick and mortar. But, but other companies would probably want to get on his coattails and offer you discounts in brick and mortar stores, of which there are plenty in China. So how do you spend your day if you want to celebrate and love yourself and go buy something expensive? And incidentally, how expensive is expensive? Well, you get up at, you, you get up at 11 o'clock at night, the night before 11.10, and you wait till... 1201 and 1111 and you be the first caller, the first on the internet. Um, uh, and, and I think in, in the first hour, they already did $1 billion. <laughs> or in the first few minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and you know, just think about this. This is the new China for sure. Well, the new China is setting uh, uh, new business platforms. And what I'm more concerned about is that because it's, it, it's a different curve, it's a different model that we have here in the US. Um, they use a cell phone, accessibility. That means 
people from all levels of society will be able to participate. You don't have to spend money to buy a computer and sit at a desktop. You can be in the office. You can be out somewhere, just get on the phone, anywhere, and do your online order. Well, you're not doing it for yourself only and for love, let me say. You're doing it for China. You're involved in this, this mass festival, this <laughs> all-around China festival, and there's a gratification in that, that you're doing it for, for the community. Well, you know, it's interesting you say that. That's maybe the Western thought, because I don't sense it that way. Mm. I think that if, if I were to talk to a Westerner, I'd be living in China full-time for 15 years. There's not really this nationalistic thing, I'm doing it for China. It really is not like that. It's like, I want to be cool. I want to be hip. I want to be myself. I want to be an individual. I'm going to buy myself something cool. I want to be liberated so no, I can exactly. go out there and spend money. Remember the society where it's turning so quickly, so fast, that sometimes you don't take time for yourself. This is where they take time for themselves. I want to buy something special myself. Okay, so you wait until midnight, and then you look at the web, and you see all these discounts and bargains and whatever, trying to sell you stuff. And you buy, and you buy a lot right there at midnight. And you buy midnight. What and, happens after that? Well, you know, it's very interesting when the orders are processed, they're very quick. And what Jack Ma has a brilliant strategy. He doesn't tie the money up in expensive distributors, middlemen. He goes out months before, and he works at small retail stores or small mom pop shops where they will house the inventory. And they will get it out locally in the community a lot faster. So it's ready to go. It's by ready 11, to go. 11. And the cost is is almost nothing. It's very low. So in other words, the, the brand can offer greater discounts. It will get greater margins back. But it's a, it's a new concept. So let's think about this way. It's, it's as though that we have a Costco that buys everything cheap, good price. They sell it out to retail. So Alibaba is actually the store. And it, it margins, it doesn't need a fix, it doesn't need brick and mortars. It doesn't need a huge warehouse. It's a different concept. So what's quick? I mean, if I order it at midnight, when am I going to get it? Well, I think I, I, I've heard that the first package came out a few hours later. That same day. <laughs> really? Yes. It was out. <laughs> Hand delivery. Hand delivery. To your house. Well, it's, it's, it's amazing because in China, they do things a little differently. For example, where I live, all I have to do is say, send it to this university from the university. And so in the universe, every day, there's about 15 to 20 different freight companies. And they come in with small bikes, all continually during the day. They break out from small warehouses, and they, they, they pop it there. Some guy sits on the sidewalk. And all you do is you get your cell phone, show them the number, track number, boom, scan it, and out. There you go. You've got it. So and it, it comes very quickly. I mean, the logistics system is, has been designed in China to be very quick. For example, if I wanted to eat seafood, the closest port is Tianjin. I can order it today uh, for tomorrow delivery, and they'll deliver that to my doorsteps. Ooh. And if I want to order, I've got a dinner tonight, and I've got to get that German chocolate uh, forest cake, <laughs> you know, I can order it. it can be, it'll be done in two hours, and they'll deliver it to me in three hours Ooh. in Beijing. So this, the logistics, they've got it down there. This, this is they, new, isn't it? This, it's, this, it's this wasn't the case model. five or ten years it ago. It wasn't the case, well, not five, ten years. You know, China has done a lot uh, along to building up the roads, the capability to do things. And again, that's important. Building capacity, building capability. So if you talk about comparing to our model, I think we're, we've fallen behind here in the West in many ways. Our thinking is a little different. It's structured. It has to be like this. And I think the problem is that, I don't know if it's a problem, I don't know it quite well, but the phone companies were locked in. You buy a phone, you gotta have a service with it, you gotta buy a plan. And so it doesn't, it doesn't, let, it doesn't allow a lot of freedom and innovation using the phone to make it innovation. The only innovative driver is gonna be Apple, maybe, with the apps that it provides. But there's no WeChat out there. There's no uh, mm. super app that's gonna do a lot of things like this. Let's take a minute, just so I can integrate all that you've said, let it seep into my brain, and then when we come back, we'll talk some more about what kinds of things are popular on, on a Singles Day, 11-11, same day as Veterans Day in this country. We'll be right back, you'll see. <clears throat> this is Russell Liu. He's fresh from China. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Aloha, I'm Kaui Lucas, host of Hawaii is my mainland. 
tech is important to our community because instead of the usual 30 second sound bite, we have enough time to have the discussions to come up with real solutions. And for the first time, Think Tech Hawaii is participating in an online web-based fundraising campaign to raise $40,000. Give thanks to Think Tech will run only during the month of November, and you can help. Please donate what you can so that Think Tech Hawaii can continue to raise public awareness and promote civic engagement through pre free programming like mine. I've already made my donation and look forward to yours. Please send in your tax-deductible contribution by going to this website, thanksforthinktech.causevox.com. On behalf of the community enriched by Think Tech Hawaii's 30-plus weekly shows, mahalo. Okay, we're back. We're live with Russell Yu. He's fresh back from China, <clears throat> and he's here so excited, as he always is, this time about retail on 11-11, which is our Veterans Day, and it's their, what, Singles Day, where Jack Ma, almost 20 years ago, sort of ginned up this whole idea of give yourself a treat on 11-11, and uh, it's kind of a Chinese Christmas. So <clears throat> I guess the question is, uh, what, what kinds of things do people buy? Is it everything? Is it little and big? Is it, you know, somewhat expensive, more expensive? Is it food? Is it, is, do I go out to a restaurant? Do I treat myself at a spa or a hotel? What do I do? You know, um, the products that are offered, there's over 140,000 brands. They can be anything from Nike shoes. They can be athletic equipment. They could be uh, a vacuum cleaner. It could be anything what you can imagine. Everything's there. Uh, I haven't looked through the catalog. I, I think I'll be spending days and days. Maybe next year we'll do that. We'll order something online to show it coming in. <laughs> See if we can get it to us before the end of the show. Uh, he has, he has <laughs> existing Taobao, uh, Tmall, uh, and, and these have already been set up already. And people can order, for example, I, I believe now you can order something. I saw a video where somebody from California ordered something, came directly from China out of their site. Um, people can now import things in. Um, likewise, uh, um, people buy daily necessities, they buy food, they buy seafood, they buy all kinds of things that you can imagine. So everything that you can think, it's a, a delight, uh, a shopper's world. But it sounds like different strokes for different folks. That's right. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not like you, you always go buy flowers or something, or you always go buy a wristwatch or, you know, an Apple phone or something. You, it's all over the lot. It's, it's all over the lot. With 140,000 brands, you can imagine, you know, how many so, things. But I buy more than one thing, though. That's what it sounds like. If you know, if you run billions in an hour, um, I'm probably buying up a storm. I'm not limiting myself to one object. I just keep on buying all day long, you, right? You can buy all day long, and you can sit there during the 24-hour period, you know, uh, and you could just be ordering everything that you need in the house for a year. And I, I suspect people are doing that. They're buying things, products that they think that they can use for a year. And they're just stockpiling it because yeah. why? It, it's a it's a fun time. It's a, like it's a big right. retail. Everybody's holiday. doing it. Every, you know, and also there's luxury goods that you and can people, buy. Do people buy more than they can afford to buy? Well, you know, it's, it's an interesting question because in China, um, when payment is made, it's not like we have a charge card. It comes out of your debit card kind of system. You have to have the well, money. You have to have the money. It comes automatically right out there, right off the top from your bank. Um, talking about what you can buy. They offer even luxury goods, you know. Um, I understand that, that there's some British retailers in there um, that have used that uh, to actually sell their luxury goods. Um, so it is consumer goods, luxury goods. And in fact, the latest strategy now that Alibaba <coughs> talks about is a lot of these luxury good retailers are trying to get into not only Singles Day, but the whole network of, of how things are done through the e-commerce. Well, if I was a retailer, I'd want to capitalize on that too. But I mean, what's interesting is the, is the cultural expansion of this to borders uh, outside of China's borders. I mean, uh, how do you how do you do that if you're Xi Jinping or Jack Ma? How do you expand this whole notion to, you know, dozens of countries around it, and you know, well over a hundred countries outside of China? How do you do that? That's, that's not well, easy. Well, that's not easy because uh, you know they do actually have partnerships. I believe in Southeast Asia, a group called Lazada. 
um, where they will help the distribution of, of, of things. So they're actually selling Chinese goods? So uh, it could be Chinese or it could be international brands directly mm -hmm. that are coming from other countries mm -hmm. that are participating in it and will be sent directly. Remember, it's all through the flick of the uh, computer. Boom, boom, boom. Where is this going? Oh, well, we, we, we're the manufacturer. We're in the U.S. So it's going to go here. It's going to go to Indonesia. There's somebody ordered through this. So well, I could just go on on um, Jack Ma's, uh, what is it again, uh, his company? His company, Alibaba. Alibaba. Yes. And I can buy anything that I want in any of those countries, huh? that, That's Outside right. of China. It's outside of China. It's, it's, and, and I'll have fulfillment in a day or so. It's two, it's 210 countries that are participating. Incredible. And, and it's incredible because it's, remember this, it's 256,000 transactions per second. Being processed. That's the numbers, yeah. okay? They're buying everything. Okay. Everything and, they need. Do they know, go to brick and mortar anymore? It, well, that's why you don't need brick and mortar. And and in, in fact, uh, in in last year, 2016, um, 467 million packages were generated within 15 hours. 467 <laughs> million packages are generated in, in 15 hours. Let me see if I got that right. That's 30 million <laughs> can, an hour. Can you count that out? <laughs> 30 million an hour. And, and, and in fact, that one day, that 24 period last year, was equivalent to Spain's e-commerce sales for 2016, just that 24 hour period. So we're talking. So what can we learn from this, Russell? I mean, this is a remarkable phenomenon that you identified. I'm so glad you, you know, you, you were there and you can tell us about it. Because we didn't know about it. I didn't know about this. I guess you had to be there in November. Be there. To, and, and next year, we'll, we, we, I will get an invitation to Jack Ma, and I'll tell him we, we want to film this out. We want to be at the show. This this year, LeBron James. I, I, we'll hold the seat for him here. That's right. But, but what, you know, what, what can we learn from this for Hawaii? Because it sounds like it's so happening. And, you know, it's, it's all action. It's all energy. It's all vitality, what you're talking about. Well, you know, here's the thing to it that I, I think that maybe it, it, that we need to learn, okay? We need to capitalize on some of the things, for example, how to get tourists out here. Not only tourists, but why can't we work in Jack Ma to make it a, a fun spend, a singles week extension outside of it for Jack Ma? And we create at the Hawaii Convention Center a 24-hour period or a couple days, and we bring in luxury brands. They, remember, they save 50% because of tax in China for the luxury goods and have them online for a whole week here and bring in tourist packages. Again, uh, that's to, a big promotion just to get travelers to come and see this place. Let's work with Hawaiian Airlines, Air China. We have the, we have the like transportation. An and remember, November is a slow period for this month, I believe, so it'd be a great time to fill up the rooms and it'd be a great way to put Hawaii on the map. And you know, we, we have a Honolulu festival here. Um, that's a primary Japanese culture. Yeah. Why can't we do a singles week and bring in the Chinese world, retail, spend? <laughs> so take a big space and have them bring their goods in. and Bring their goods and, in. And expose them. And, and, and bring in all the American retailers, all the high end. We have them here. Work the Retail Merchant Association. How do we create a new platform? Well, it's all know, technology. But I, I can see a resistance on that, you know? So if I have to pay rent for a brick and mortar operation and staff and all that stuff, and I'm not really dedicated to online, um, I would resist that, wouldn't I? Well, that would be actually a, a day really where you don't. There's no brick and mortars at Hawaii Convention Center with a gala show. We're being in name stars. Everything's done online on computers. Get the university involved, Hawaii involved. They're high tech. We start getting high tech business, start working together in the industry. And it goes both to this, Jay. You asked me what we need to do. I think we need to think about this. Jack Ma says this correctly. We don't fear artificial intelligence, first of all. Second of all, the world has changed. It is not heavy manufacturing. We need to educate the next generation of the um, different world. It's a service industry, high technology. And if we're going to do something in the state of Hawaii uh, or the city, what we need to do is we need to Think about how we can do that. We don't need to be in Ohio. We don't need to be a young well, What does Amazon stuff. say? I mean, Amazon, formidable, formidable, all over this country, and probably over Europe, too, and maybe to some extent elsewhere. Um, they, they also sell a lot of stuff online. What are they going to say? This, this is direct competition, isn't it? Well, maybe we can make peace and bring both of them here. Maybe they should be working together. And the together. biggest global thing, and, you know, and, and, and I, I can't see why not. Think like a business, why not? So how how does platform. the American Christmas integrate with the, this 11-11? I mean, if this is the Chinese 11-11, do we celebrate it, you know, the shopping spree twice? 
Well, uh, we have 11-11, and they don't really celebrate Christmas, but they have a, a break, and then go back to Spring Festival New Year's. And mm -hmm. that's another big retail holiday that you know we can create here. Again, <laughs> to bring people in, to market you know, a lot of tra travelers, to build capacity, we've got time to work with the Hawaiian Airlines, you know, uh, to work with the infrastructure here, and, and to, to bring in the tourists, but to bring in the shoppers. And, to, and also have online sales where they don't have to fly in, but they can see that we have this whole whole production here. Well, would you would you do that? I mean, in this model that we're building here, say at the convention center, the exposition, you know, ex exhibition hall, whatever it is, um, large amount of space, a lot of people exhibiting stuff. Would you have them bring their goods, all those goods here? Not necessarily. Or just maybe a little. A little monitor here, a little monitor there, it's and show monitors. them it's a and technology. explain it to them. You know, the problem is with Amazon, for example, you can't ask any questions. Well, you know, what's stuck. <laughs> what? Well, no. What about Alibaba? Can you ask questions? Well, again, I, I, I again think about this. In 2016, I, I don't know if they had it this year, but you could actually visit Macy's in New York, in China, online, through virtual reality. Oh. So what I'm saying is, why can't we create a festival that's retailing a virtual reality, bring people, time people, and um, again, that's a, a different way of retailing again. And we've got to start thinking out of the box because, again, this is a different age. Technology is there. We need to apply it. But we need to be ahead of other states. We have to be ahead of Las Vegas and all the other places. Again, and that goes to maybe a different show, Jay, talking about what are the steps we need to take. You're going to ask me that question. And the steps are very simple. We need to have relationships with the Chinese world of Jack Ma. He's been here two or three times, loves the place, I don't understand. Um, we need to also build capability and capacity. We need to have University of Hawaii to bring in a lot of these Chinese tech students that would not go to MIT, but they're smart enough, bring them here, create a national nucleus where our local kids can work together with them and learn how they do things in Asia and China. It's a big driver, you have to do it. It's like when Japan was big, now it's China. And the, the difference is that the Chinese students, universities all speak English. So bring them here, and then all of a sudden we start to build capability capacity, bring in language, we need language. We need capability capacity. And then create logistic centers and create R&D centers. The first step for this is to bring in um, Intel to partner up with the Chinese company because we have all these high-tech people here from China and the U.S. Okay, but what I hear you saying, it's not so much the retailer or the 1111 or the single stay. It's let's just engage with the Chinese. I think we let's have to. Let's enjoy their culture and their activity, their their energy, if you will, and let them let them appreciate more what we do and spend some time together, which is not exactly the same thing as what our government or uh, the federal government is doing right now in terms of negotiating with uh, China and finding finding pathways to alliances and partnerships and the like. I think the reality is there, Jay. Just looking at the numbers of Singles Day, look at the technology that's employed, look at all of this. It's a new platform and it's 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 going global. And um, again, again, um, you know, we have to look and reevaluate where can we add value to this chain because for many years everybody's in follow America, but now. Being in China, I see everybody around the world following China in many yeah. ways, and we have to integrate more. And uh, it's part of being global. Um, I, I, I mean, if yeah. you don't do it, you're sunk. This you, is you know. a culmination of things, and good for him, good for you know Alibaba, good for China for thinking of it. I mean, so you have brick and mortar, you have online, you have social media driving online and brick and mortar for that matter, and now you have this kind of celebration of retail. Uh, with the emancipation of the individual consumer, um, you know, telling him, giving him a pass. Yes, go buy stuff today. This is a good day. This is a, a buying holiday. And uh, that, that goes beyond either brick and mortar, really, uh, or, or uh, online, because everybody gets involved on every level. So, yeah, we can learn some stuff from them. And I'd like to go back to China with you sometime and, uh, and experience it myself. I'll even I'll, I'll, I'll buy you a, uh, I'll buy you something small. Next year we'll we'll go online and we'll order something. <laughs> yeah, it's just to celebrate. Thank you, Russell. Russell Thank you, Jay. Uh, Think Tech Global, right here in Honolulu. Aloha. Aloha.